and welcome back to Amateur Astronomy and Storm Chasing. Thank you guys all so much for joining me on this crystal clear night here in Middle Tennessee. And thankfully too, the humidity is actually a little bit lower than it has been recently. So that's a blessing I'll definitely take. Hopefully tonight I won't be covered in sweat by the end of the video. Um, we've actually had a few clear nights in a row here in Middle Tennessee. Just last night, I was able to get by far my best Milky Way picture ever. I went to a dark sky site, uh, kind of close to here, Bortle 3 Skies actually. And I was just blown away by the quality of this picture. Uh, it's hands down probably one of the best pictures I've ever taken. Uh, yeah, I was just really blown away with that. And also here recently, I know Comet Neo Wise has been the big target. And yeah, I didn't have very much luck with Neil Wise. I attempted to set up a few times and that didn't go so well. This has proven to be a really difficult shot, but I think it's just really cool that you know, I can see it. This is the first time I've actually even seen Neil Wise. I've attempted this a handful of times now. There's trailing in it. Go ahead and take a shot here. And yeah, you can definitely see Neil Wise. But finally, a couple weeks ago, I was able to set up my Skywatcher Star Adventure and my old Canon 70 to 300 millimeter lens. And I was finally able to get some shots from Neil Wise, as you can see here. Now it's nothing spectacular by no means, but at least I was able to capture the comet. So at least I can say I did it. With this hobby, that's just how it goes sometimes. So tonight, as you can see here, I've got the old Skywatcher Dobsonian set back up. I'm planning on doing more planetary work tonight. Jupiter and Saturn are just over here out of frame right now. And actually Pluto, looking at the sky chart, is right in between the two right now. So I think it'd be really cool. Maybe if I can get Pluto on video as well, We'll just see. I'm going to do some planetary work. And actually, just off camera right here, I've also got my imaging rig set up. Uh, that's going to be for a project here a little bit down the road, but I want to go ahead and try and get some good data tonight while I possibly can with that. But yeah, tonight we'll focus on Jupiter and Saturn, the two planets that started it all for me. So setup on tonight, it's going to be really simple as always. Uh, it's actually going to be pretty much identical to my last video up here on the channel, the full moon through my Skywatcher Dobsonian telescope here. All I'm going to be doing is just attaching the camera straight to the telescope. And uh, tonight I'm also going to be doing some more imaging of the planets, um, taking video of them and going in and stacking frames from the video. It's something I really enjoy doing. It seems like that you guys really enjoy my Dobsonian and planetary work as well. It's good by no means, but for me, for me, I think it's fun, and uh, I'm I'm always happy to see the results that I get. But um, yeah, I'm gonna be using my 2x bottle lens and my 3x bottle lens. Probably gonna be using the 3x more tonight, so that we can get really up close as we can, really to the planets. I'm also going to go in and show you guys uh, looking through the camera itself, see the moons and all that good stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get the camera attached to the scope here and get the show on the road. Okay, this is me shooting the back of my camera right now that's attached to the telescope. And actually right there you can see Jupiter. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in right here so you can get a little bit better look at it. And you can actually see uh, my settings that I'm using, uh, 200 ISO. Let's see let me go down to 100. And you can see on the back of the screen, you can't really see on this video, but I'll go to live video here in a second from the camera itself. Okay, now this is just Jupiter floating through the frame. I've got the ISO cranked all the way down. Uh, you probably can't really see too much detail on this right at the moment because this is with no Bartle lens right here. This is just Jupiter at 1200 millimeter focal length. Uh, I'm going to turn up the ISO just here in a second so that way you can see the moons and then I'm going to go in and start playing with the Bartle lenses. And now you can see the moons just a little bit there. This poor video is doing all it can to bring them out. Yeah, let's go ahead now and throw on some of these Bartle lenses. That way you guys can get a serious look at the planet. All right, now here's Jupiter with the 2X Bartle lens. This is at 200 ISO. And so basically this is at 2400 millimeters. And you can see this takes us in significantly closer. I move the 
scope around just a little bit to keep it in frame. Yeah, you can see Jupiter is kind of racing through the frame right now. Makes it kind of hard to keep up with it without a tracking platform, but so far that's been the story of my life. Maybe one of these days I'll have me a Dobsonian with a tracking platform, but that's on down the road. For the time being, I'll make do with what I got. Now I'll crank it up where you see the moon. This is now at 3200 ISO. And here you can see a really good shot of Europa, Io, Ganymede, and Callisto. I probably just butchered saying those names, but I butchered saying a lot of things. So just, if you're subscribed here, you're probably used to that by now. Which by the way, if you haven't yet, please be sure to subscribe down below if you like what you're seeing. I do a lot of work on here with my Dobsonian telescope and my imaging rig as well. So if you guys like what you see, please be sure to subscribe down below. I appreciate having you all here. Okay, now this is my 3x bridal lens, and you can really start to pick up on some of the fine details here. And you can actually see the great red spot there, which I'm really glad you can see it's not, because this will be one of the first times I've actually imaged Jupiter, being able to see the great red spot. Now you can see the moons floating through, and this with the 3 x bridal lens is roughly 3600 millimeter focal length. Okay, first here, I'm actually gonna go back. I'm gonna take this 3X bottle lens off. I'm gonna go in and put on my 2X. And for those of you wondering, this is the Orion TriMag 3X bottle lens that I'm using here. And it is the Celestron Omni 2X bottle lens that I'm using. Uh, both of these are cheaper bottle lenses for sure. They're not top the line by no means. But uh, with what I've gotten so far, I can't complain with the price. Um, they've treated me well. So let's go ahead and slap this 2X back on here. And also, whenever you're using your bottle lenses and attaching them directly to your telescope, be sure that you have a T adapter as well, because that's what the bottle lens is attached to. And basically act as an eyepiece to insert here directly into the telescope itself. Now, let's find Saturn. Okay, now 
here is video directly from the camera itself. This is a 1600 ISO with the 2X Celestron Omni Bartle lens. Yeah, here is my ISO maxed out right now, and yeah, I can't pick up on really anything whatsoever. But oh well, that's okay. Let's go ahead and slap on this 3x and see what we can get. All right, it actually took me a little bit to find Saturn again. Yeah, this is up pretty close right here. This is about the closest I believe I've ever seen Saturn, which is awesome. Yeah, I've got some pretty decent videos, I feel like. I'm going to go in and start editing those in the morning. So, we will see you guys then. I don't blame you. Lily's feeling pretty lazy like I am this morning. We was up pretty late last night shooting for this other project I'm working on right now. And I'm really happy to say that it has turned out like phenomenally. It's the best image I've ever taken uh, since I've been doing astrophotography. More on that coming here really soon though. But I finally got all my videos and everything uh, put into Linkios here, which I'll show you guys here real quick. So basically what Linkios is, is a program it's a stacking program basically and what it does it goes into the video and it pulls out each individual file here I'll do the drop down menu that you can see it pulls out each individual frame and lists it basically as a picture file and uh, you're able to go in here let me zoom out a little bit you're able to actually go in here and see each individual frame and then that way you can go in like whenever I was kind of shaking the camera last night you can go in and delete those frames and then you're able to go in and stack all these frames uh, align all the frames together first and then go in and stack them and uh, the line you see up here it's a really really easy uh, piece of software to use I highly recommend using this one uh, I'm not good at it yet by no means but I'm really happy with what I, what I managed to get last night with Jupiter but yeah, uh, Linkios, Linkios, uh, I'll link it down in the description below so you guys can go and check that out. Uh, totally free to use and really easy. There's lots of tutorials on YouTube. Um, YouTube has been a huge saving grace for me whenever it comes to learning the process and everything. So a huge shout out to all you guys out there doing all these awesome tutorials and everything. Uh, just one other thing to note real quick. Um, I think I was actually able to find Pluto last night just through my eyepiece. Uh, it may, it's so small and dim, it may not have been that, but I don't know, something about it just seemed a little bit different than the stars around it. So, I, and it was definitely in the right spot of the sky, so who knows? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't, but it was still fun anyways to do a little bit of visual observations. But yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for this one, guys. Uh, thank you all so much for joining me again. And also, again, if you haven't yet, please be sure to subscribe down below. Um, I absolutely love doing this stuff whenever I have a chance to. I love working with my Dobsonian. And I'm going to be using my imaging rig again here very, very soon. Uh, so I've been practicing with it here a, a lot with it here lately. And last night I was actually, I was able to get, like I said earlier, my absolute best shot yet. And I really can't wait to show that to you guys here in the near future. So that's about it for this one. Thank you guys all so, so much for watching, 
and I hope you enjoy.